Hello there everyone, this is I, Mark 3 and welcome back to the giant Stumpy Stumpy Robot Simulator, which is MechWarrior Online. As I said yesterday, I'd be bringing in a new loadout for testing on this particular video, and here we go. We have the rarest of beasts, beasties, beastie beastie beasties, the Zeus. <laughs> well, it's pretty rare for me, I, I barely use these things, but... I do come back and tinker with them every once in a while, so, you know. It is what it is, what it is. For this particular walk, I am taking out a ZEU-6S. Our version. So, of course, this is a 6S, but it's resistant version, so that's about the only difference. You can do this with a 6S if you want to. The question is, if this loadout is any good, which is what I'm wanting to find out, basically. So... As you can see, plenty of weaponry on it. Let's go into the mech lab and see what we've got here. <laughs> right. It's got a travel weapon system, which is not something normal for me, but it's... Uh, it's kind of... Uh, I think it fits here. Sort of. But let's get into the nitty-gritty of it. It's an end of steel chassis, double heat sinks, light ferro armor. So, pretty high tech on the chassis side. It um, also runs around on a 300 rated engine, so it's kind of nippy as well, 60.8. Not as nippy as this thing could be, but I'm working with what engines I've got, you know? Yeah, that's what I've got to do sometimes. But still, 60.8, not too bad. And that also mounts two double heat sinks for cooling rating of 1.17. So it's a bit light on the cooling side, but that's because of its sheer range of weaponry more than anything else. Yeah, primary weaponry. Twin AC-5s in the left arm, which are supplied by two and a half tons of ammo. So, iffy ammo reserves by my normal standards, but should be okay for a while. Then the opposite side, the right arm, carries an MRM-30, which is fed by two tons of ammo. So that's a total of 20 shots for that. Not too bad. Not too bad. But the MRM-30 gives it um, volley fire punch. AC-5s give it de decent firing, um, hard-hitting, regular firepower, left side. And then backing all this up, we've got an array of ER medium lasers. Three in the left torso and one in the center torso. So that's four ER meds total for, again, mid-range accuracy firepower. Though that's what's really going to overheat this mech if I start using them all too much. Unless I stop using other weapon systems as well, but even then... I'm probably going to overload myself just a tiny bit with these. So, end of the day, we've got a fairly fast assault with okay armor. It's not anything special in terms of armor, not really. Um, but it's got a lot of mid-range firepower, and most of it is highly accurate and focused on damage output. So, this is going to be interesting to look at, I think, and see how viable it is. It's a very flexible loadout. And it's got a lot of raw damage potential in it. The question is how well it can apply and how well it can maneuver. So, yeah. Let's take this Zeus out for a spin and see how well it does. Roll on, match number one. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Fleet command coming in. Target area and engage any hostile. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Caustic Valley. The game mode is Domination. Ooh, things are on fire. Gotta love those blue flames. Okay, let's see how we do. My Zeus is ready to rumble. And we are walking alongside a Warhammer. And a Stalker. And the last one in our merry band is a supernova. Okay. So mostly lighter end assault mechs. To be quite fair. Oh jeez, that builds up 40% heat. Oh yeah, those things are going to overload me if I start to try to use them at all. Just as well they're a backup weapon. Yep. Right. Don't use those things much at all. Uh, let's set up group 3 actually into chain fire mode. That way I can fire them off one at a time if I want to using that. There we go. Okay. Now, the thing is, we've got to find peoples. And, yep, we've got full arm unlock. Okay, so let's use that to make our ACs more accurate and things. 
Ooh, hello. Target acquired. I do believe you are an SRM fitted catapult. That catapult's doing a great job suppressing us. Target spotted. Oh jeez, incoming. Uh. Yeah, this is a... Uh, we are not doing a very good job here, are we? Oh jeez. Oh we're, oh, we're pushing around this side. Okay, I need to follow then. Uh, this supernova is all alone. Can I help you out at all, buddy? Wait, is, this, that's a, is that an LRM supernova? Well, no, it's got some LRMs, but not much. Oh, jeez. This is not going very well at all. I'm, I'm trying to work out where to send my Zeus. And... Honestly, I'm not doing a very good job of it. Let's, let's turn off that. Because the camera moves so much when I've got my arms on the I'm just trying to work out what the hell to do. Hey. Okay, let's unlock my arms again. Oh, hello there. Ow. Okay, that was a lot of firepower. Yep, they are having a fun time over here. And I am rich peaking with low hanging weaponry. This is not ideal. At all. Oh there. Target spotted. Ow! Yep, someone's got Rex. That almost killed me, actually. So I need to reposition, very much so. I am... Azus is not a tough mech. It is not. It's not meant to get hammered like that. Ouch. Uh, move, please? No. So, yeah, this is... I'm running into the same problems I have with all Zeus. Is they get blown up a lot. They're a big, beefy target. Well, they're, they're big, beefy target, minus the beefy part, because they are not beefy in any sense of the word. And the moment they get primary, they take a lot of damage. Though I am aware of those comments that I've received a couple of times, saying that... Um, Zeus's that are spec'd out to be massive armoured bricks are actually really good, good at taking punches. But mine's not spec'd out that way. Might as well just take pot shots on this thing. We've destroyed target alpha. There we go. Alpha's down. So many enemies nearby. Oh, hello. Back the hell up because that was a, a sniper unit. Use my lasers for precision weaponry. New target acquired. Ooh, this does not feel very nice. I'm not. I'm not enjoying this. Oh, there goes my heat level. Oh, jeez. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Ugh. Oh, hello. Ow! Ow! Leave me alone! Ow! Okay, that's dead. Ow. <laughs> yep. Tore through my rear armor. Kill me. 284, that's actually much better than I thought I was doing, but... Um, I think I've once again failed to find a loadout with the Zeus I'm happy with. I was thinking of taking, like, twin Rack 2s in the left arm, but... Um, the, the, the Zeus still st just feel, it just feels fragile to me. That's my problem with it. It feels fragile. And it, to be fair, it generally is. It's meant to go against heavies, not assaults. I am somewhat disappointed in this loadout. Anyway, roll on, match number two. Oh, the enemy had an atlas. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Frozen City. 
The game mode is skirmish, so we need to kill all the enemies. Yes, indeed. Uh, between matches, I've been thinking a bit about um, why I don't really like this loadout too much, and I have. I think I've come up to something. Um, I like the MOMs, I like the mediums. Um, the Zeus still feels like a squishy ch chassis, or m maybe it's less squishy, it's more too easily damaged, I think might be a better way to phrase it. Like its armor's not not great. Six. And light but mech? Uh, I think. Echo uh, Fox Shot 7. I think I don't get along with the AC5s very well. Um, they, I, I, I don't know, the, the AC5 feels flimsy, which I think is um, a weird thing to say, because, you know, I've been enjoying AC2s in groups, um, I like AC20s, AC10s not really, but I like the specialty AC10s, yeah, they're, they're doing okay. Um, AC5s is one of those odd little weapons in this game, which I've, it's, it's the one in the ballistics family that I've, Echo 6, Echo 7, where they are. that I've tried to get... Well, I've been getting to grip with the um, ACs I've not been fond of, for the most part. But I've not got to grip with the AC5. And I don't really like the AC5, which is... Uh, I don't know. I mean, another raw damage stats, it's... Um, I've got two of them, so it should be like I've got an AC10. I don't like single AC10 either. <laughs> so, you know, the fact that this fire's a bit faster is not neither here nor there. It's like, um, you know... It's like, um, I'm not really sure what to make of it. So, in the day, uh, this might be a viable loadout. It's just, I'm not enjoying it very much and I'm not getting along with it very well, so, you know. Oh, he's dead, right? Good first kill. Well done. Nice shooting, guys. Okay. Blankers coming to our right. I see him. Well, there's not much I can do. Um, another problem with the Zeus, I guess, is that um, the weapon hardpoints are spread out quite a lot. That's causes Target a few, a few issues sometimes. Oh, back up. So, I don't know. Is it the mech's fault? Is it my fault? Is it the weapon's fault? I don't know. Uh, a bit of everything, I think. There's just a, these... Little factors I, I'm struggling to put my finger on, which are making me not really like this mech loadout. Or the mech in general, so it's like, uh, hmm, I don't know what to say to you. And But you know me, I, I like to play and be fair. I like to try out different loadouts and things. I've just not found ways that these weapons and this mech work that I'm happy with, and that's very odd considering that I've had the Zeus a long time. And all the other mechs that I got around the same time, I'm okay with. And I've worked out ways I'm happy with. So, hello. So, yeah. Don't know what to say to you guys. Not really. Yep, I just clipped his arm there. Okay. I'm going to move around with this flanking group here. Just back up this Irby. Yeah, a Zeus following an Irby. Is that a nice start? I do believe it is. There you go. Confirmed. Dead. I brought enough firepower to crack its armor, and then the uh, Irby got the kill. That's absolutely fine with me. If I can function, if I can find a function I'm happy with, I'm great. If I'm, if I function as like an armor cracker, then it's like, yeah, I've, I've got a roll. Okay. But I need to work it out still. So you know. Hello. Yeah, look at that. I just absorbed those hits straight away because of my big torso. Oh dear. Uh, who's Keep that going? in our back? Juliet behind us. Juliet behind us. I don't have a line on that, unfortunately. So. There are guys back there helping defend it off. 25% of the enemies are eliminated. Yeah, okay, let, let's go after that night star as well. Okay, I actually got that one with my um, AC5s of all things. Wow, 
I, th I think, um, yeah, the AC Vibes, as I said, I, I know the raw damage on it. I know the raw stats on it. But I'm. Echo, heading towards you guys on your left. Target spotted. Roger. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Nicely done. There goes Echo. Need assistance. Charlie is coming to the end. Target acquired. There we go. Juliet, close by. Juliet, close range. New target acquired. His left leg's damaged. Oh jeez, I've I've lost up most of my lasers. I didn't even realise. Alright, let's go for the next one. Yeah, I've lost most of my backup weaponry. <laughs> my left torso is almost we gone. No Ow. Yeah, my left side's coming apart at the seams. Uh, That's my AC fives are gonna die very soon. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, let's see if I can push up. Oh, hello. Indiana, critical hit. Torso. Ow! Left torso destroyed. There goes my left torso. Left arm destroyed. Fantastic. Center torso, critical damage. Auto cannon Killer destroyed. Killer hotel at Delta 6, but there's one fired. close range. Go for that dire star. Go for that, Charlie. Moving on, Charlie. Destroyed. Never mind, there goes Charlie. Moving on hotel. We've almost got them all. Clean up the okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, the, the, if I keep tweaking this, I'd be happy with it, I think. But I'm not happy with it, so you know. The MRMs though are, are, are stinging me through this, I think. I think I've done more with the MRMs than anything else. Fantastic, fantastically played, guys. Well done, well done. Let's go and hunt the last one. Bit of his misery. Any idea where he's got to? Pro possibility, he might be AFK. Fair point. Target spotted. There's Oh, it's a Warhammer. Ouch. Well, they had an AFK Warhammer, apparently. <laughs> Though that's not that's done well for them. Give him the Emperor's mercy. Oh, he's not AFK. Hmm. Oh dear. Thank you very much for the game. Good game, everyone. Okay, um, this loadout. I'd take off the AC5s, replace them with something else, and also probably swap around the medium lasers as well. I think. The only thing I'm happy with here is actually is giving the Zeus an MRM, which is kind of odd. Though this says here, one killing blow, 11 assists, 375 done, so I was doing work there, it just didn't feel like it. I still don't, I still don't know how to put it, really. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Rack 2s rather than the AC5s, and something not as hot as the ER meds for lasers. Maybe light PPCs or something. I don't know. Still, I'm not happy with this mech, so yeah. If, if this loadout's of use to you guys, I'm glad I've done something right, but I'm not going to be keeping this one. I'm going to reconfigure to something else. But until then, this is Mellon Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll catch you all some other time. See you all later.